hi guys welcome back to another video it's your girl Brie Riel and today we're going to be talking about my first and second week the go <laughs> we're going to be talking about my first and second week out of surgery okay so I'm gonna be looking down constantly because I'm reading off my notes all right so day one after waking up after surgery, y'all, I felt like it had a lot of little mini knives in my side, only on the left side, because I think that's where they take your stomach out. So I felt that way. I didn't drink much. I slept all day. I literally slept maybe 13 hours. So day one was just like a blur. Day two, um, y'all, that's the worst day. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Day two is the worst day. So just mentally prepare yourself for day two because it's the worst day. You get these strong, like, period cramps or, like, contractions if you ever had a kid. But it only lasts for, like, 15 seconds, and then it goes away. But this happens every five minutes throughout the day. And I feel like pain medicine don't work. <laughs> but don't lose faith because it gets better. Um... Okay, guys, so another thing I wanted to add is whenever you at the hospital, like, they want you to drink a certain amount of liquids before they can send you home. The reason why they want you to do that is because they don't want you to get dehydrated. You don't want to get dehydrated and go back to the hospital. Like, you're trying to stay away from the hospital. So, they, the reason why I stayed in the hospital three nights is because it was hard for me to get my liquids down. But I eventually got half of what they wanted me to get down. I cheated a little bit, <laughs> but I got it done and um, I was able to go home. I just got tired of them making me drink and they give you so much medicine and I don't like to take medicine. I, I just don't. I know even I didn't even have pain medicines when I went home because I felt like, yeah, I was in pain. Yes, I was sore, but it wasn't enough pain for me to want pain medicine. Like Tylenol did just fine. Also, in order for you to leave the hospital, they want you to pass gas. Either pass gas or have a bowel movement. Until you pass gas or have a bowel movement, you're going to be in the hospital. Um, the best thing you can do for the gas is make sure you get you some gas X. Uh, they're going to give you some at the hospital, but make sure you buy you some. Make sure you have a heating pad. Heating pad will be your best friend day, the first week after surgery, including the day of surgery. Like heat pad will work wonders. Um, make sure you walk. Walk, 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 walk it out, walk it out. That's how all that gas is going to come down. You're going to eventually fart, burp, or poop. One of them is going to come out. But the more you walk down, walk all that gas down, the quicker you're going to feel better. Okay? And that's all I wanted to add. Let's see. Day four, I was released from the hospital. And y'all, I constantly had this metallic taste in my mouth. And I still do. It's like my Bit is really, really sticky, and it just feels like I've been sucking on pennies all day. I don't know what that's about, and I don't like it, but I guess it's part of the process. Uh, another thing I noticed is that I constantly have hiccups. Like, it will just come out the blue, just hiccup for no reason. And it happens, like, multiple times throughout the day. I usually can, like, hold my breath, and then it will go away, but this not this not that. It's just part of the process. Some people say they burp a lot. I don't burp. I just have the hiccups. It's crazy. Um, so day four, I went home. The day I went home, um, I would say it was so hard to get comfortable, y'all. If y'all can get a recliner to sleep in, that would be ideal. Because sleeping in a bed, especially with a spouse that sleep angel style, like this dude is 6'4", 350 pounds, and he sleep with all his limbs stretched out. Sir, you, what about my bust open stomach? Like, you don't care about that? <laughs> but y'all, it was so uncomfortable because I sleep on my side or on my stomach. And I couldn't sleep on my side because of all the pressure. And I couldn't sleep on my stomach, obviously, because of the, the incisions. But, um, yeah, that was aggravating. So, y'all, I think around day five, day six, y'all, the cravings were on a hundred I was hungry as heck. I was craving everything, everything. I was craving everything. I wanted to eat so bad. It was so depressing. I was like, oh my God, I can't eat. Cause you have to understand at this point, I'm like, what? 
20 days on just liquids two weeks before and now five days after i'm still on liquids like i'm hungry i i i, I need food and they tell you like make protein uh drinks with the protein powder and not drink the little ready the ready to ready made to go drinks i think i'm saying that right you can't drink the ones that you was drinking before surgery because it's too thick for your throat. So they want you to make your protein drinks. And let me tell you about this little thing right here. I don't know how to be doing that. Nasty. It's nasty. It's not good. This is the vanilla kind. It's not good. Don't get organic. I ain't never touched it since the day I, I tasted it. Nope. What I did was I got my ready-to-go shakes and I add water to that. And that's what I drank. Maybe three sips, but that's what I drunk. Okay. <laughs> uh, day six got better. Uh, like I said, day seven, I was able to drink a little more because these other past days, like day one through day five, all I could really drink was maybe like four ounces of water because it, it, it like, it hurts in this area and I think your chest area. It makes it feel like something is stuck. It's like kind of trying to stuff tissue in a straw. I know that sounds weird. It's a weird like thing to compare it to, but that's how I feel. Like I feel like everything just gets stuck and I feel like I have these little bubbles in my throat and my stomach start bubbling. Not bubbling like you gotta go, but like sizzling, like some little mini little bubbles in your stomach and in your like your throat. It, it feels weird. So you don't, now that you're full, you just don't wanna drink cause it's just too hard. And it's key to make sure that you're drinking really, really slow because if you drink fast, and sit cramps so you have to retrain your brain all over again and that can get aggravating like it, it's a lot okay so day 10 was a very 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 hard day for me guys drink my water because my mouth's so sticky and even water don't taste good it still tastes like that metallic but you gotta drink it because you're gonna get dehydrated which i probably am dehydrated but that's another story <laughs> Day 10 was super hard in my feelings, crying, depressed, sad, okay? And guess what? I couldn't turn to food. It's so hard. Imagine at that point, 24 days not having food. Imagine that for a minute. Tell me how you would feel. 24 days without food. My son is with his dad for the summer. My boyfriend works 10 hour shifts, so he's gone and I'm not working. Usually that's my time to get cute, watch my blog videos, my vlogs, all the messy tea, you know, pray, meditate, and eat. Whatever I want to eat, junk food, the food I don't want to share with my boyfriend and my son. That's what I usually would do. That was my routine. And to not have that anymore, it messed with my mental so much. So it's like I try to vent to like my boyfriend and people, my family and my friends, but it's like they don't really understand what I'm going through because they're not going through it. So my best advice to you guys, if you're thinking about having a surgery, make sure you follow a lot of groups on social media, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Follow a lot of groups and a lot of women who've been through the same thing that you're that you're going through, so it can help you get through that phase. Cause it's gonna pass. I mean, the next day I was fine, but that day was super hard. Like I'm trying to vent to my people, and they're like, "Okay, just stick in there. It's gonna get better." Like that's not what you want to hear. You don't want to hear that. I don't know what it is that you want to hear, but you don't want to hear that. You know, because they don't understand. Like y'all over there eating, living our best lives. And I'm over here crying and sad. And I just wanted more, like, attention, I guess. And more, like, people to just, like, oh, let's go check on Brie. Let's make sure she's fine. Let's go pop up to our house and surprise her. And just to show her that we there. Like, it was, I, I was feeling all of that that day. And people have lives. You're not the center of everybody's universe. But in that day, that's what I was thinking, you know. I just wanted to go get my nails done, my feet done, go do something to my hair. I just wanted to go do something. But I couldn't, I couldn't eat, I couldn't go get pretty. And that was a lot for me. So be prepared for those days. Save extra money so you can go do things. But it's gonna be hard on one of them days, child. But you will get through it. So stick, just 
don't give up it, it gets better okay you have to tell yourself mind over matter i look good i'm gonna be living my best life this is only temporary it will get better it will get better so don't give up um day 12 let me tell you about day 12 so i've been drinking crystal light since my pre-op stages and it was fine but on this day in particular y'all i took one sip and that's what that's how you're gonna know what you can eat and what you can't eat i took one sip and i instantly felt like yeah i instantly felt bad so i was like oh no let me go sit down because this ain't that when I sat down, the rumbles and the tumbles in my stomach, I was like, oh my God, I gotta go poop. I gotta go poop. And I was kind of happy because I never pooped in a long, long time. When was the last time? I'm gonna have to take me a laxative child. But anyways, I it was bad. So I was like, okay, I can't. So I ran to the toilet. I sat down, nothing coming out. I know it's too much information, but I'm telling y'all the truth. Nothing came out. So then, you know, like when you, <laughs> you know you're about to throw because your mouth starts filling up with water like was fit is like like i was like no please i don't want to because my pouch is still like healed and that's gonna hurt it hurts to laugh it hurts to cough it hurts to sneeze like it just hurts so i'm like please just don't just don't instantly and it probably was like too little it was just enough as if it was as much thorough as i as drink that i drunk if that makes sense and I was like, okay, so we're, we're not dealing with her no more. We're not drinking Crystal Light no more. Actually, y'all, I hate anything sugar-free now. That fake sugar taste, it just, it makes me sick to my stomach. So literally all I've been drinking now is just water. And I like my water to be ice cold with ice. And uh, yeah, that's about all I drink because everything else just seems weird to me. Then, uh, so that was day one to day 12 of the hospital. Today is actually day 13. And tomorrow I go to my doctor's appointment, uh, for my two week checkup. And hopefully y'all, he clears me to go to the second phase, which where I can eat boiled eggs, um, mushy food, tuna fish, chicken salad, egg salad, potato salad, yams, sweet potatoes, Stuff like that, like chopped up fish. I'm ready for all that because I'm done with liquids. I'm so done with liquids. Like, I, I don't even think I'm getting all my protein in, which is not healthy. I don't advise no one to do that. Follow your guidelines. Drink if you can. It's just it's just hard for me to drink. Like, because it's nasty. It's just, it's just hard for me to get it down because it's nasty. So I force myself every morning drinking at least... You're supposed to get at least 90 grams of protein and at least 50 ounces of water a day. I'm definitely starting to meet my water goals because I'm able to drink more now, as long as it's ice cold. And But I'm not doing too good on my protein intake, but I think that's gonna all change when I get to phase two because I'll be able to incorporate more things. I'm gonna invest in a unflavored protein powder because this one is nasty. I'm going to invest into an unflavored protein powder and um, add that to my foods and my drinks so I can get my protein up. I'm only 12 days old in this VSG journey, okay? Don't judge me. I'll get better within time, okay? Uh, also, I started taking my vitamins. This is the ones that I take. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know how this works. But it is just one vitamins by uh berry life and they're huge and they nasty they mix berry but they're nasty people told me it was good it's not good it still tastes like a vitamin but you have to take your vitamins i also have to take the calcium citrate plus d3 this one is by bariatric pal these are huge and i'm supposed to take six a day do y'all know I have a little banana now? How am I supposed to fit all them pills in my belly? They fit though. My neighbors are so good. Let me tell you, show y'all how big these pills are. <laughs> y'all can see that? They big. And I'm supposed to take six of them a day. No, ma'am. And these vitamins. 
these are chewable so you have to chew this one a day but they have a lot of vitamins in one so take your vitamins i also have to take your soul if i'm saying that right i don't know i'm from louisiana i have a bad accent i don't know i have to take these because um so i don't damage my gallbladder i want to say because sometimes when you lose weight fast it, that can happen so that's why you have to take that so just take all your medicine that your doctor tell you to take okay um with further ado i know y'all want to know how much weight i lost in the last two weeks after surgery so with further ado let's go see how much weight i lost so when i went so now high, my highest weight was 405 I lost 25 pounds during the pre-liquid stage diet. Uh, surgery day, I was 380. And after surgery, here's my weight. Let's go. Y'all, I lost. What is that 23 22 23 more pounds like 46 47 in total i'll put the number up here somewhere I'm, i can't think that is great like i lost that much weight within 24 25 days That's crazy. And, um, yeah, i'm excited i feel so much better if you have if you overthinking if i should get the surgery or not get the surgery sis get it I don't have any regrets getting a surgery. It's just you will have bad days. You're human, okay? You're making a huge change in your life. You got to retrain yourself all over again. But you will get better. I'm a veteran in this. I'm 12 days out. What you mean? <laughs> 13 days, okay? Yeah, it'll get better, y'all. It will get better. Um, if you think about getting a surgery, get it. It'll be better for your health. When I tell y'all my back don't hurt no more, my feet don't hurt no more, my bar friend's like in love with me even more because my body is getting like soft a little bit because I always had like a firm booty, but now my booty is still firm, like big and juicy, but now it's soft. I got the little wiggles a little bit, y'all. So yeah, I'm enjoying this little new behind of mine. <laughs> and um, if you ever feel you find yourself feeling low or sad, get out, go read, go walk, go to the beach, do something to cheer you up. Don't stay down in the dumps, guys. And um, I have a little secret to tell y'all. Yesterday I cheated. I cheated. <laughs> what I mean by what, when I say I cheated is like, I know tomorrow, which is day 15, my doctor would clear me to go to the soft phase stage, okay? So I'm like, how would they know? Like, how my body gonna know, tell the difference in two days? Like, it won't know. Some people eat the soft food diet right after surgery. So how would it affect me? So y'all, I bought me an egg. I sure did. I bought me an egg. I sliced that mug in half. I put some Tony Sachers on that and I ate my egg. And it went down eventually. <laughs> it went down and I didn't get sick. It took me about 45 minutes to eat one egg. That's crazy. But it went down and it just feel like it just gets stuck right here. Like, like you literally can feel your food going from here all the way down to your chest. Like you can feel that. So that's kind of weird. That's gonna take a lot to get used to, but I did it. And then, then what, guess what else? I wanna get some mashed potatoes from Popeye's. Sure did, I sure did. I don't need no bariatric people coming for me in the comments, I don't care, I wanna get it. And the lady was so kind, y'all, she gave me two. I only asked for one, but she gave me two. And I was able to eat the whole little bowl. It took me about an hour and a half to eat that. I'm going to eat another little bowl maybe tomorrow. Now, I'm not going to eat that every day because I know I got to focus on my weight loss. But I was hungry. And that was the first thing I could get down, okay? So, no. I'm sick of broths. I'm sick of protein drinks. I'm sick of it. I wanted a different taste, so I did. And also, guys, if y'all have a nutrition spot in your area, like a nutritionist, proteins, Get y'all one of those. That that was really good. I had one of those one day too, and it was so good. Um, they full of protein. They don't have sugar in it, and it's really tasty. So get those too. They have a little bit of caffeine in it, but girl, you're going to be fine, okay? 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys again for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my videos. Turn on post notifications so you can see when I post the next video. I probably won't make another video until like my month out uh, because it don't make no sense to keep doing this three weeks out. You know, it, it just don't make no sense. So I'll probably come back after, um, like once I reach one month, which is August 4, 2023. That's when I'll come back. And yeah, thank y'all so much for watching my video. I love y'all. Thank y'all for your support. If you want to support me in any other ways, just reach out to me via email, via Instagram. Speaking of that, I want y'all to go follow my new Instagram. This is my VSG Instagram. I'm going to be having all my content in here. I'm going to be posting daily on that page. So go ahead and follow that email. I mean, that Instagram. Instagram and I'll accept you guys and I would love all the compliments and all the comments and all the feedbacks feedback and support is what I need okay so all right guys I'll see y'all next time bye I just came back from the gym right now trying to unbe my bag I just had to change it up the ways I had to pick them up trying to unbe my bad